never end I know that your love is forever I know that you are all I have The only reason that I live The only reason that I follow Whoa. You captured me I'm so glad you all came to the park with me and Giselle. I have a special story that I made up, and it's based on Jack and the Beanstalk. What's the story called, Lola? Like I said, it's based off Jack and the Beanstalk, and it's also inspired by that fairy tale. It's called Adam and the Beanstalk. That's me. I can't wait to hear the story. Neither can I. Okay, I'm about to read the story right now. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Adam. He lived with his sisters, Autumn, Ari, and Winnie, who lived with their roommate, who was their cousin, Giselle. One day, the family was poor and did not have any beans to make their world-famous bean soup. Hello, siblings and cousin. What's the problem? There you are, Adam. It's a big problem, all right. We don't have any beans to make bean soup in our pot. And we can't afford to buy any beans. But Adam, here's three bucks. Take this money to buy some more beans or else we can't eat. You got it, Giselle. I'll make sure to save us all from starvation. I really need to buy some more beans, but where will I find some? Just then. Hi, Adam. Hi, Jade. I need to buy some beans for me, my sisters, and my cousin Giselle, but I don't know where I can buy some. Well, I've got a surprise for you. I'll trade you some magic beans for your money. Uh, sure. It's a deal. Now I shall give you the magic beans. <laughs> thanks, Jade. No, thank you. Hey, girls. I'm back. That was pretty fast. Did you get more beans for us? Well, yeah. I traded our money for these magic beans. Aren't they cool? Adam, those don't even look like magic beans. They're not even big enough to eat, and there's not enough for us. We can't believe you traded that money for just two beans. Thanks to you, we can't make bean soup. That settles it for them. But I can assure you that they were magic beans. Adam, I'm sorry, but we don't believe that. And now it's time for bed. Good night, Adam. I can't believe we're not making bean soup. What have I done? I believe in magic. Those beans have to be magic. <sighs> As the night went by, something strange began to happen. I was hearing shaking in my sleep last night. Whoa! Adam couldn't believe his eyes. The magic beans grew into a giant beanstalk. That's the biggest beanstalk I've ever seen. I guess those beans really are magic. Adam had never seen a huge plant before. I think I'll climb that thing. This is tall. Wow, it's really cool up here. I feel like I can see everything from up here. Maybe I'll find some treasure for me and my family. Look, a house. Maybe there's some treasure in there. Look! Cupcakes, an apple, and a watermelon, and a big sack of golden beans. I've heard of that. I think I'll get me some of that. Where 
did that little boy go? I guess it was probably just in my imagination. Snack time! Excuse me. What a loud burp that was. Now I think it's music time. She's gone. I think I'll take the sack of golden beans with me. I think I'm strong enough to carry this. I've got the key and she's just a doormat. Oh, hey! What happened to my sack of golden beans? Hey! My sack of golden beans is missing! That little boy took my beans! Wow, I sure am glad I got this sack of golden beans. Fee! Fi! Fo! Fum! Uh-oh! That sounds like the giant! I better run! Fee! Fi! Fo! Fall! I see that boy who is small! Give me back my sack of beans! I better hurry. Adam thinks he can get away with my sack of beans, but not today. Where's Adam? I don't know. Not since I've seen this huge plant. I'm back. Adam, where did you get that sack? Well, there was this beanstalk that grew in our yard, so I climbed it and... Free! Fi! Fo! Fum! Giant Leah! What do you want from us? I'm not here for you. I'm here for Adam. Uh-oh. I'm busted. Oh, yes you are. You stole my sack of golden beans. Adam, maybe you want to say something? Giant Leah, I'm very sorry I took your sack of golden beans. You see, me and my family are poor, and we can't buy any beans to make bean soup. Then why did you climb all the way up this beanstalk and come into my castle to take my sack of golden beans? Because I thought those beans were good to eat, and gold is shiny. But I guess I made a big mistake. <laughs> beans anyway. Gold might be pretty, but it definitely doesn't taste good. Yes, I know. But where are we going to find real beans to make bean soup? Why get beans from up there when you've got beans in this beanstalk? This is called a beanstalk. Yay! Beans! Now we can make bean soup. Adam, I guess you were right about those magic beans. They are magic. That's because I believed in magic. Now it's time to make some bean soup. I want to come inside for some bean soup, too. I love bean soup, but I'm so big, I don't think I can fit in the house. I want to be a regular-sized girl instead of a giant. I can help. Jade, I don't want to be a giant anymore. Make me as small as my friends. You got it, Leah. <laughs> I'm shrinking! Shrinking! Yay! It feels good to be small! Now let's all make some bean soup! There's plenty for everyone! Mmm! This bean soup is delicious! Glad you're enjoying it, Leah, and I learned not to take things that don't belong to me. That's great, Adam. Now that I'm small, I think I'll move into a new house in this village. And you can look at my sack of golden beans anytime you want when you visit me. You'll love seeing my new house. I'm so glad that Beanstalk had enough beans to make our famous bean soup. Me too. And so, everybody got bean soup thanks to the Beanstalk, Adam learned his lesson, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Wow, that was a great story, Lola. I agree. I think being a giant was kind of cool. I'm so glad you all enjoyed my story. 
I really like Jack and the Beanstalk, and Adam learned you should never take things that aren't yours. I did learn that. You did good, Adam. Thanks, Winnie. Now who wants to come to my house for some ice cream? I want some. Me too. Me three. Let's all go.